and they called us at six o'clock and they said you have to start evacuating by nine o'clock and you have only two hours to evacuate. Uh, half of the patients who were able to walk have moved out of the hospital. The civilians, almost all of them, moved out of the hospital and uh, a lot of, uh, or most of the medical staff have left the hospital. Unfortunately, uh, we were left with only uh, around 15 to 20, around 20 medical staff between nurses and doctors. The other patients we have are, are around 260 patients. Uh, unfortunately, we lost two patients uh, overnight this night. Uh, so it's totally like, you know, non-human place to live in. It's totally full of rubbish, waste everywhere. We are not allowed to get out of the building. The building we are in has no water supply at all. The other building has intermittent water supply based on the so the permission they are giving to our engineers to go and try to fix something. So again, it's really difficult time here. They are putting more and more pressure on the medical staff here, and they are not respecting us being medical professionals treating the patient and just staying here for the patient's area. I think they are they are apparently using us as a human shield within the hospital. So they will 